Hey Dan, it's Jason from Two Notes. Hope you're well, mate. We've got some amazing new cabs coming out from Dave Friedman. Some of his stuff from his line and some of the rarities that he has kicking around his workshop. I've put them in your account now and I'd love for you to check them out and let us know your thoughts. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Jason from Two Notes. I guess today is a Friedman day. Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker, and welcome to this episode of I Don't Have a Band. I'm super happy today, can you tell? Well, any day I get to record guitars is a great day, and especially today because I got an early look at the Dave Friedman collection from Two Notes. This is five super rare 412 cabinets that were captured at Sunset Sound in LA doesn't get any better than that. Now, my pursuit of tone has evolved over the years where I'm not looking to necessarily pair, let's say, a Marshall amplifier with a Marshall S cabinet. I like to mix and match, but I like to have a range of different tones. I have no problem taking a high gain amp and using a vintage style cabinet just to see what you come up with, blend them all together. That's just what I do. But I wanna introduce these cabinets to you, so let's jump in and check them out. So I just wanna give you a quick overview of the setup that I used to record the guitars in that session you heard earlier. Um, the Hughes & Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe 40, the Marshall JCM 900, both went through the Torpedo Captor X. God, I love this device. Uh, the Rev G20 has its built-in Torpedo Captor, so all went in direct. Uh, all cab emulations were bypassed and were handled through wall of sound in the DAW that allowed me to try out the different Friedman cabinets and you know do my mixing and matching. Anyways, I wanna just show you a couple of samples within that song so you can hear the amplifiers paired with the different Friedman cabinets. For the verse riff, I paired the 412 Black and the 412 G12. The vintage 412 Black took its inspiration from a vintage Marshall 412 slant cab. It's loaded with Celestian G12H30 Black Box 55Hz 30 watt speakers. This is an aggressive cabinet perfectly suited for hard rock. The vintage 412 G12 cab has 70s era G12 65 speakers. These speakers are often regarded as the best speakers to put into a 412 and generally translate into a warmer sound. Here's my Sir Classic T Deluxe neck position pickup through the Hughes & Kettner cycled through the five different cabinets. <laughs> The core section of this song is quadruple tracked with my three remaining amps and the three remaining cabinets, all different tones all working together. The 412 Green is a Friedman 4x12 cab with Celestian greenbacks. This cabinet delivers those classic British tones with scoop mids and a clear top end. The 412 Vint is another 4x12 Friedman cabinet, but this one has Celestian V30s. It has an aggressive mid-range and is ideal for higher gain tones. 
And the 412 Vint 6402 was clearly not meant for public consumption, but what a capture it is. This cabinet has been around the Friedman workshop since the earliest days. The cab itself has no Tolex and is loaded with very rare early 90s 6402 greenbacks. This may just be the gem in this collection. Here's my Howard Roberts bridge position pickup through the HK cycling through the five different cabinets. And the last example is my Sir Classic T into the Rev G20 with the 412 Vint. This thing is just dripping in delay and reverb and I absolutely love the results. Well, there you have the Dave Friedman collection from Two Notes. What a super awesome collection this is. I'm really excited about this. These are definitely gonna get a lot of use in my projects. If you want any more information about these cabinets, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. And if you do, let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, perhaps like, subscribe, ring the bell. If you wanna do a deeper dive with me, I've got links in the description. I'm on Patreon, I've got affiliate links. Every little bit helps and I really appreciate that. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.